Hey there guys, my name's H and welcome back to another video. This is a sort of video that I've really been wanting to do for quite a long time now, but I sadly have not gone around to do. But today I get to finally do it, so let's go. Today's video, I'm going to be unboxing this, this, and showing you my new PC and my brand new monitor that I have bought with it. Because I've been waiting to do this for a long time, I did tease this yesterday on the YouTube community part section of my channel if you haven't noticed right there. But as always guys, let's go and unbox our main keyboard and mouse. So the first thing that we got here is the Razer product. Now you're probably going to be thinking why I've decided to go for Razer products. Well, I've had quite a few recommendations on Razer products for quite a while and I know there's a lot of people that might be watching my videos or that might do or hate Razer products. Personally, I don't see nothing wrong with them as I think they're a good style to get in like a first PC setup side But if any of you guys have got any tips for me for anything that you want me to make sure of I'll be more than happy to just say like, check out for it But the uh, mouse that I've got here if you want to know it is called the Razer Viper Mini right here Which I thought was a really good one. It's got Razer Chrome RGB and ultra lightweight ambioic design It's a Razer optical mouse switch Nice little booklet there for information. So the cable here is actual USB and it's quite a, uh, it's like a braided cable as well which is really good so it won't get damaged easily like a regular cable so it's not like anything cheap. There we have it. I thought it was a really good style mouse to start with in the beginning. Hopefully this does last me but overall I'm really happy with this because I did get to try this second hand. And for anyone that is curious on see how long this will last, I will update posts on this. So the next thing that we've got here is a Razer Orienter V2 Mech Membrane Gaming Keyboard right here. So again, with keyboards, I know there's quite a lot of people that have their own sort of opinions on keyboards and what they like, what they don't like with this. I thought this was just generally pretty good for me again as I did feel quite comfy to use before I did buy it and really good to the finger use and touch and overall just felt really just sort of like right to use so when we do open this up oh, ha, ha. let's have a look at this so it's protected by a little plastic cover right here so we'll just go and get this bad boy out apologies if you couldn't see it better before but this is what it pretty much looks like on the minute so this is rgb as well so all these keys will be backlit with colors of anything that you want sort of similar to my monitor as well so Right here, it's a pretty good start keyboard that I think, in my opinion, for me to start off with. Will I get more keyboards in the future? Maybe, possibly. But then as well, same with this cable, it's a braided cord, so with a nice neat cable management as well, that is a really good point. It's got a little sleeve on the USB right here, as this is also a USB slot port as well. Apologies if you can't see the picture quality on here perfectly at the minute, but with it being 144 hertz and apart from 27 inches, it has also got two USB slots, one display port, and two HDMI ports as well. So last but not least, here is the actual PC. This is the inside of what it looks like. It has got a graphics card of a 1050 right there with a power supply of 600 then it's got a intel processor of i6 right there the actual cable management is pretty clean if you want to have a little look on top of here we have got quite a few usb slots over here with a usb micro type c some headphone jacks right there the power button and overall the case is a if we can go and have a look down here it is a virgo cooperate cord case right here and it's got a glass panel right here which i can just go and switch on and off if I want to. Right 
So guys, that is it for now for this video. Sorry if some of it was a little bit poor quality. I did try to film most of it the best I can. I'm not going to show too much of it right now at this time as I am planning on doing a full gaming setup tour video in the late future once I have hit 10k subscribers. But if you would be interested in this scene a bit more of that in the future with a full rundown of my setup, I will leave all the specs of my PC in the description or comments down below and a little bit of pictures on the social media of my new setup. So as always guys, thanks so much for watching, my name's H Chen and I'll see you in the next one.